Going to college is a wonderful experience. These four years will probably be the best four years of your life. From parties, to friends, to homecoming, college is fun. One of the aspects that makes it fun are the football games. Coming to the games and being in the stands cheering your team on is all amazing, but what about the football players? How do they feel and what happens when they get hurt? In our research project, we focus on FAMU football players and the patient, patient satisfaction between them, the athletic trainers, and physical therapists. We hypothesized that the players would be more satisfied with the performance of the athletic trainers and physical therapists when their quality of care, availability, support, and facilities are up to standard. When looking at sports programs at universities, many people don't take into account all the things and people behind the scenes that make the program successful. With our research focusing on healthcare professionals at Florida A&M University's football team, we looked at the athletic trainers and physical therapists. With the research we conducted, we chose to obtain our information through a questionnaire. The survey was given to 20 students, however, only 17 completed the survey. The questions were based on um, the survey. The survey was based on questions that were given to the football player players about their satisfaction with the athletic trainers and the physical therapists. The questions were answered in regards to are the athletic trainers competent, the, are the facilities up to standard, and how they felt about their overall experience with the athletic trainers and physical therapists. articles that we reviewed did an evaluation on satisfaction levels between athletic trainers between female and male athletes in high and low profile sports. Regardless of sport profile, the results showed that female athletes demonstrated higher satisfaction scores than male athletes. When it came to patient satisfaction with athletic trainers, support was one of the major factors mentioned in the articles. It stated many injured athletes may need more support because they were removed from their normal sports related activities due to their injury and may have become more worried about the healing process. It also reported that male athletes relied on athletic trainers more for social support post-injury and their satisfaction with the post-injury support was at about 80%. Hello, I'm Shauna Smith and today we have a FAMU football player as a guest. Um, if you'd like to tell your name. Marquan Cromarty, third year pre-physical therapy student that plays football for Florida a and And his position is? Defensive end. And within your three years at FAMU, um, have you ever been injured playing football? Um, yes, I have. I've had injuries with my quad. Um, I've pulled my quad a couple of times here while I was playing, practicing. Um, and usually when you have an injury like that, you go see the our head athletic trainer and she looks at you, gets you right, gives you ice, things of that nature. And how do you feel like the quality of care of the athletic trainers were? Do you feel like you, it helped? Do you feel like it didn't help? Um, I feel like, well, it got me back on the field, so I'd say it helped. But I mean, as far as how she did it, um, I would say a lot of times she gives you ice for anything that goes wrong with you. I mean, and then, I mean, although sometimes that's what you need, but at the same time, I feel like I wish we had better facilities to um, help me and other future athletes that come here help them rehab better after injury. Whether you're a seasoned athlete or choose to be physically active in your free time, Indiana University Health Sports Medicine Physical Therapists provide evaluation, treatment, and rehabilitation of all types of acute and chronic injuries. Based on their injury, kind of work backwards, how did this happen? So kind of for diverse detective work. <laughs> Our highly skilled sports physical therapists know that every injury is different, just as every athlete is unique. Uh, we are constantly evaluating our patients. We uh, tie in things specific to their sport, specific to their daily needs. We provide a comprehensive analytical approach to sports rehabilitation. 
looking at the biomechanics of each person, not only specific to each sport, but to your body type and mechanism of injury. So it's very individualized, it's very diagnostic, and it's also rewarding because you see them progress through time. We offer the full spectrum of care, evaluating all types of neuromusculoskeletal injuries and developing a customized treatment plan for each patient, including post-injury functional assessments, so you can make a safe return to your activity. On our survey, we split our survey questions into three parts, and they are communication, facility, and quality of care. On the first chart is under facility, and it has three questions. The first question, well, the first statement is represented by the blue bar, and it reads, athletic trainer provides convenient hours for you to get treatment. As you can see, majority of everyone chose neutral, followed by somewhat agree, strongly agree, and then somewhat disagree. The next statement is represented by the orange bar, and it reads, the environment in which you receive treatment is clean, Majority of everyone who participated chose somewhat agree, followed by strongly agree, and then neutral. The last statement is represented by the gray bar, and it reads, there is an adequate amount of equipment to rehabilitate you. Majority of everyone chose neutral, followed by strongly agree, strongly disagree, somewhat disagree, and then somewhat agree. The next chart is communication. Under this chart, there were four statements. The first statement is represented by the blue bar, and it reads, athletic trainers and physical therapy assistants take time to answer questions. Majority of everyone chose somewhat agree, followed by neutral, and then strongly agree. The next statement is represented by the orange bar, and it reads, athletic trainers and physical therapy assistants communicate your diagnosis to you. Out of the 17 participants, majority of them chose neutral, followed by somewhat agree, strongly agree, and then somewhat disagree. The third statement is athletic trainer explains treatment plan to you, which is represented by the gray bar, and majority of them chose neutral. The last statement is represented by the yellow bar, and it reads athletic trainer gives instructions regarding treatment at home, and it was tied between neutral and somewhat agree. The next chart represents the quality of care portion of our survey questions. Under this portion, there were four statements. The first statement is represented by the blue bar, and it reads, you can receive care for your illness or injury when you need it. First, it was somewhat agree, where majority of the participants chose, followed by neutral, strongly agree, and one person chose strongly disagree. The next statement is represented by the orange bar, and it reads, athletic trainers are ready and willing to help when needed. This bar is, it was majority chose neutral, followed by strongly agree, somewhat agree, and then one person chose strongly disagree. The next question statement is represented by the gray bar, and it reads, athletic trainers provide the same quality of care to everyone, regardless of race, religion, or status on the team. Majority of the 17 participants chose strongly agree, followed by somewhat agree, followed by neutral, and then somewhat disagree. The last statement is physical therapy assistance, and it is represented by the yellow bar. And out of the 17 participants, majority of them chose strongly agree, followed by somewhat agree, and neutral and strongly disagree were tied. The next chart is just a representation of the positions played by the 17 participants who participated in our survey. Majority of the players were represented by the defensive back and linebackers, followed by offensive linemen, followed by kicker or punter and defensive linemen, which were tied, and quarterback and long snapper were tied with one person. Unfortunately, we were not able to get any tight end, wide receivers, or running back or fullbacks to participate in our survey. The next graph represents the times the participants visited the athletic trainer. 53% of the 17 participants hardly ever visited the athletic trainer. 23% visit them two to three times a week, and more than three times a week and once a week were tied with 12%. The next chart is just a representation of the classification the 17 participants were. 
Um, four of them were freshmen, seven of them were sophomores, and six of them were juniors. Unfortunately, we were not able to get any seniors or graduate students to participate in our survey. The next pie graph represents the race that were among the seven ten participants of our survey. 70% of them were Black and African American. 18% of them <clears throat> represented the other category. 12% of them were White, and 0% of them were Asian slash Pacific Islander. As mentioned earlier, under other, two participants chose White and Black. So we chose to put them under the other category, which made it represent 18%. Every day for the guys who are who are out or guys who have a specific injury that we've gotten on on a Saturday afternoon, um, those guys have to be in here every day. We'll even open up at night for an hour for those guys to come back over after classes and come in and get another treatment. Um, some guys who are who may, guys who may have been hurt in the past or guys who just know they need a little bit extra, they can kind of pop in and out as they want to. Um, and most of those guys, just, they can they kind of get what they want. Uh, they they know what'll get them better. We kind of have different treatment groups, if you will. Um, so our very early morning group um, is our list of guys that, that we're trying to get better and get ready to play for the game that'll be out for practice that day. So that group starts about 30 minutes ahead of the second group um, so that we can get extra treatment in on those guys and, and get that done. Um, the next group uh, are the guys that are practicing, um, but we're trying to get ready to play, do a little bit extra rehab on them so that they can get better and get back to 100%. Um, and then our third group is our long-term rehab guys, um, and they start up a little bit later. They start up actually after breakfast once everything else is kind of cleared out so those guys can get a little more one-on-one -on -one attention. Before game, it's mostly hydration. It, it's preventative there because um, we're just trying to be as proactive as possible to keep guys on the field. It, it's a lot of heat. Um, it's a lot of, a lot of manual therapy to really try to loosen them up, uh, loosen their joints up, trying to get them ready to play. There's that little bit of swelling we've got to get back out of there. Um, so a lot, lot more hands-on, a lot of manual stuff. Our guys still lift. Even though we're hurt, uh, we still have to lift, still have to get stronger. If it's a lower body injury, you lift upper body. If it's an upper body injury, you still go and lift lower body. Um, and there's a modification made. Um, we put an athletic trainer up in the weight room for every weight group um, so that they can be there and also help those guys modify. And so we talk daily, um, sometimes hourly, you know, if, if it's a lot going on, um, as, as to what modifications need to be made. The facilities here are fantastic. You know, I mean, we've got uh, We've got tons of treatment space, we've got tons of uh, taping space, rehab space, and of course we've got a fantastic pool area back there that's, that's way more water than a lot of places have. Uh, a lot of places have pool, but we've got a ton of water in here. You know? um, it's, it's just great. We've got doctor's office here, we've got a chiropractor office. Our staff, they are invaluable to me. Um, you know, they're, they're another brain, they're another set of ears, uh, another set of eyes, another set of hands. Um, to get out there and, and do. I mean, they're an extension of me, they're an extension of our program. And plus, uh, we use it as, a, we, we put our ideas together. Uh, a lot of times we'll bounce ideas off of each other uh, to help come to a solution of a problem. The main part is just to coordinate everything. Um, uh, you make sure everybody's in the right spot, everything's flowing in the right direction. Um, I think we do a good, we try to do a good job of educating our guys, um, educating our staff so that everybody's on the same page and it's all one big fluid machine moving forward. I think communication is probably the most important part of our job, whether we're communicating with the athlete, with each other, with our doctors, uh, with our physical therapists, with the strength staff, um, I think uh, with the coaching staff. Everywhere we go, we've all got to be on the same page and speak with the same voice um, so that we can move everything forward. In the research we conducted, we did undergo some non-systematic and systematic errors, which included 20 surveys were handed out and only 17 of them were filled out in return. One participant left all of the questions under the facility portion blank, which left us only with 16 responses for that part. Our hypothesis was proven correct. The patient satisfaction between FAMU football players and the athletic trainers and physical therapists in regards to quality of care, communication, availability, support, and the facilities was exceptional.